Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of Late Night Hawks of War here. It is currently 2am and it is time for the Garlic Grunts to begin the absolute mayhem that is Death Valley 1. And he starts with a grenade launcher. I put you there to, like, throw a poison gas and go crazy, you know? Go stupid, but... At the same time, I also gave the enemy at least one paratrooper, so... Okay, great. So rather than go and collect a weapon crate, you're going to go ahead and steal my jetpacks. That's what you're going to do. Going to make it just absolute hell for me. I'm playing a Seen Lard today, but you wouldn't know it considering this paratrooper is going to just mow me down with a machine gun. And how did he fly on the other side? <laughs> what is knockback? I I'm getting out of this crazy town. It has been... I guess what feels like a century since I last played Death Valley. Death Valley 2, let alone Death Valley 1. Death Valley 1 is only for two players. That's going to be way too short. And I'm going to probably waste the rest of my turn. In fact, I'm going to grab this. I don't really have time to collect the super, super airbrush just yet. I can't exactly go for the Frenchies, actually. Let's try and destroy their crate. That's what needs to happen. Don't want them going walkabouts. Let them take 65 damage from that. And then the Tommies can do something. But this is what makes Death Valley 2 so insane. Because there's just... There's no space for anyone to breathe. Paratroopers are making their way across the lanes. To collect more crates just to give them more jetpacks. Is it worth it in the long run? No, because your turn runs out. But does it make him more crazy? Hell yes, because all the pigs are now, you know, smooshed together. The teams are dispersed, I guess. And this guy, he don't know what to do. He he don't know. Yeah, I destroyed your crate. Now you're going to machine gun. Just keep machine gunning tapper. It's, it's okay. Uh, what I'm hoping is that my paratrooper stays alive up there on the high ground. And the rest of my team is kind of forfeit because, again... Death Valley too, you know. Just made it up here. And I'm just going to blindly fire it down there. Uh, that's decent. A little bit of damage on my own pig, but that's some good splash damage. And a kill! Would you believe it? The Frenchies are the first to fall. Basil down to 27 health already. And Grenadiers again showing their absolute might. The rifles are out. They mean business. It's just insane for everyone. Meanwhile, the Scout 109 health is just going to say bye bye, Basil. And the Grenadier is toast. My gun is going to take a wee bit of damage. But it should be just fine. This is progressing along pretty swiftly, actually, so far. The uh, Piggy Striker is sitting pretty comfortable, though. Haven't really taken any, any damage, but Ponson B collects the crate. See, this is the AI's problem. That as soon as there's a crate that's close to them, it's like, oh, I want that one. And then they waste 20 seconds. Because I still have this set to 30 seconds, so... It's like a turn lost. I mean, he could shoot someone right now. There's, there's guys around them. And of course, okay, goes to the Frenchie. Nice. So in the end, he did do something, but was it really worth it? Is there going to be more machine guns? Is he going to fly away? Machine gun me in the face, please, my friend. That's all I've ever wanted. And Snowski uh, instantly collecting the jetpack goes for... Nothing, because that is a bug. That is a glorious late night hogs bug. And he takes all the damage and falls back down again. Because AI... Uh, just, just AI, guys. That's all you need to know. Sometimes if they collect a crate too fast, they instantly equip it. Usually a jetpack, and they fly away and just smash into the skybox. Because that's how paratroopers do. And he's down to 21 health now. That is disgusting. But I'm going for the scout. Uh, which is 
Oh, that was again just needed a little bit, a little bit less. We should be dead actually, I think, because that's a ton of damage. Down to 13, yep. <laughs> the full 140 and then some, I imagine. I didn't even need that initial explosion. Okay, this guy's actually going to go ahead and collect something. He means business. So we finally have a paratrooper out of the pit and away into the nether realm. He has the airburst. He can finally do something. But will he? Will he use it? Ooh, that's a good combo. He's going for the tranquilizer below him. He could have run to it, but his turn will end. And once again, just wasted time here from the paratroopers. No brain cells to be shared. I've taken up the strategic positions in the top right and left corners. Because, you know, you need the height advantage, but these guys are just going to kill each other. Scout on scout action here. And the Grenadier. Will we finally see a grenade being thrown? Oh my god, it's going to be absolute carnage. The cluster bomb comes in. Detonates above the scout. And now all of the pieces are going to hit my pig, probably. Okay, uh, equal damage. But down to 10 health now. And down goes the British scout. And here comes my grenadier. Uh, where is that scout? He's like... I may as well jump down. <laughs> may as well go for the crates. In fact, I'd probably do more damage just using my regular cluster bomb, in all honesty. I don't actually know how much health he's got, but either way, he's <laughs> he's definitely going to be dead now. Because that was a pretty decent hit. Yeah. Very nicely done. If I do say so myself. Yeah, Gunner's on 10, so he's basically toast. Where are you going now, man? You don't you don't use guided missiles. I really wish that would have been a thing back in the day, right? If the developers knew that the AI don't use guided missiles, in fact, he's just managed to destroy them there. So he's now got just himself an interesting position. Yeah, if the, if the developers knew that they couldn't use guided missiles, then couldn't you program it so that they don't go ahead and collect them, right? You know, maybe. Just... Oh, it's, it's just getting worse here for my Grenadier. <laughs> oh, it's getting even worse. There's going to be even more damage unless he decides to fly away, but... That's going to be another 20 and a kill. But at least he's nudged far enough away. So, rest in peace, Tapper, as he gets shoved by the boots, just to make more boots. I don't know, they're falling like flies here. Snowski is somehow still alive. How, I don't know, but he's going to go and collect more jetpacks for the sake of it. Meanwhile, Simon is just chilling, and I'm in need of another super air burst, but I only have one more jetpack. And in all honesty, I don't think I'm going to make it. But I'm going to see how high I can get with this. I've already got some elevation, but will it be enough? Nah, not quite. But either way, it puts me in a good position to collect the air burst, and I will save that for later. Ooh, I have an idea, actually. Oh, never mind. Okay. I thought high explosive grenade onto that guy to then nudge him towards snow ski and get the 20 damage to get the double kill. But he flew away and once again collected the airburst. But that actually makes my job a little bit easier because uh, if I can just take care of the piggy striker pigs below me, then I should have a, a simple... What? what are you doing, man? Pork is just on drugs. But it will make the AI actually do something, finally. Pesky with the fully... Like, full power, low angle. I don't see that very often. But we may as well say goodnight to, uh, to Snowski. He had a good run. But uh, we don't need you anymore. So he will perish, and that will mean it is now a 2v1v1. And uh, Ponsonby don't want none of that. The paratrooper on the Frenchies don't want none of that. And Pesky... He, he wants some of that. He's probably going to kill Ricky. No? 
No, he has a grudge on, on Pork up there. A low angle again. Full power again. Oh, he's just pummeling him here with the... With the Granada launcher down to two health. So I could just steal that kill and be an absolute douche. I think I might have to because he's in the perfect spot next to that crate. Low angle again. 70% power. Right on his face. 53 damage. No, not near my own pig, please. Uh, okay, cool. That's the downside of a, of a perfect shot. <laughs> Extra damage on my guy. 16 health. That's, that's not bad. My god, Ponsonby's actually going to do something. And I think he's actually going to get a kill here. The absolute mad lad has taken out my power troop. No, my grenadier. What are classes at this point? I don't know, but it's come down to a 1v1v1. And Pesky has the low ground, but he is a menace with those grenade launchers. So, are we going to see a high angle? No, we're going to see a high explosive grenade. I mean, he's at the right distance. This will give me the height advantage. Okay, he hasn't... Has he fallen? No. But I can get the kill. In all fairness, actually, I'll save that. Save it for the grenadier, because he does have a decent amount of health. But that's two direct hits in two turns. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Another pig falls. So many crates. But seeing as he doesn't have the high ground, his uh, grenades aren't going to reach me. And unless he uses his grenade launcher to bump me down. I mean, I do have the tranquilizer as well, so that's going to come in handy if he somehow manages to knock me down. But I should have this one covered. That's a good 66 damage right there, down to 41. I'm sitting comfortable. And that, ladies and gentlemen, should be it for this evening's crazy matchup here on Death Valley 2. Everyone's favorite bonkers map. Cool. Well, I can safely just maneuver down here, collect this other tranquilizer, and yeah, say goodnight, basically. I just jump on your head. Thank you very much. And that should be it for Pesky. So yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed. It has been a pleasure as always. Late Night Hogs of War, of course, is something I enjoy. Because at the end of the day, I don't play it that much very often. You know me, if I'm making videos, then that's kind of the main focus. But just being able to sit and play and enjoy the game like I always used to is always a wonderful time. But let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments. Do you enjoy Death Valley 2? I certainly do. I'm going to bed now. And I will see you guys later for the next one. Good night.